right, so if you select the leak, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here. Um, you are going to follow the line that's coming from the VJ, which is that main connection right there. You also have the, leak, the return that could leak, but it's more unlikely, but you can check to make sure. Um, if you ever see a pouring liquid, which is what we had to tighten on this one, um, so it can come from here, the main connection there, there, or this union right here, which can even be on the insulation. If that's the case, we have to tighten whatever fittings there are. Um, you need it dry. So these can leak without nitrogen being, or session being run at all. Uh, same spots here. If you have a leak and you are not running a session and you can tell it's leaking by seeing a liquid drip, it is going to be that union right there. So uh, it's hard to do with one hand but the silver spot right there, that's gonna be your part you need to tighten. It will need to get thawed out so you can do so. Um, in order to do so, if it's thawed out, uh, you can use a glove if you'd like, but with nitrogen fully turned off with the e-stop and confirmed, the unit has been purged, you can hand tighten most likely. If it hand tightens at all, you know for a fact that it was loose, but you will also want to get something like this and you depending on um, your chamber you might be able to get it on there to tighten it just enough uh, without having to take the shell off the back one there's another one right there see the silver nut that one also can leak the only way that one is going to leak is if the sessions being run and these valves are opening up uh, but you'll also see it kind of pour out of that as well and it could be a possible leak now, during a session, if your V1 or V2 is leaking, which these are your V1 and V2, you'll see that in V1, the other one will be V2. This is your best view normally, because a lot of times in that middle, you'll see um, one of those, like where the brass seals are, um, you'll see where they clamp down, they'll often leak. So if we can get a video from here, every time you hear it click is when you're gonna see most likely the nitrogen kind of kick out. So you're gonna hear it click open and kind of hear the burst through. At that point, you'll likely see the nitrogen coming out um, if there's a leak there. If you don't see it, which you can kind of, depending on your, you can kind of see the video, especially with flash on, and then you can do it from here, let it run a little bit, see if you see a leak. Um, and if you don't, we can go here, make sure there's not one there. And you can also do kind of from the side, angle like that just try to focus if you can um, same with here it's it does get tough when you start coming back to the sides <clears throat> but if you ever see a steady drip of liquid that's not defrosting ice then that's likely you know there's an issue but in, normally this is going to be your view to kind of get the best view which is just right above it right past this second one which will tell you if there's a union leak usually and then this view, which looks at that. And you will want sessions running. If you don't notice a leak here without a session running, you'll want to go ahead and run sessions. And then if you see the leak, which we'll also send you a video of what an example looks like, but um, this is what we're wanting to get. Because this will help us determine what leak you have. Because if it's just a union, which is these silvers, the silver nuts, we can just tighten those you don't need parts, we just need to tighten them. If it is gaskets, which are in between these brass pieces, they clamp together to the sides. <clears throat> There's little rubber gaskets in there that keep it sealed. If it's those, we do need parts on hand, and that means we need to get them shipped to you. So that's why we asked for these videos to help best assist you and get you without leaks as soon as possible.